back. Um, I'm making Freddie's valance, curtain valance today, and I promise it's going to be quick because I cannot do another feature film length um, series of videos like I did making the curtains because my husband will divorce me. Well, he probably won't divorce me, but he will refuse to edit it. So I've got to make it short and sweet. We're going to have a frilled balance that's going to come up slightly in the middle, down at both edges. Um, I'm going to do it, if it were my house, my, if they were my curtains, hang on, let me get the fabric. <clears throat> if they were my curtains, I would have pink um, either fringing or tassels or even beads but Freddie doesn't want that so what Freddie wants is the pink lining fabric just showing underneath. It was actually my mum's idea but she liked that idea so I'm going to um, I'm going to cut it out now and I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so with a bit of spare fabric I had, I measured the length that I want the valance to be, plus a couple of inches for turnings, and I've shaped it, can you see, because I want, I want the edge to be long, and I want it going up in the middle. So I've shaped it like this, which I know looks a bit stupid, but it doesn't when it's, put, when it's gathered up. So this is what I'm going to do with the curtain. So I'm going to do two lots of that and then one shorter one for the middle. So that's, that's my first job. pieces in the middle and the longer pieces either side. This is my toile, um, so my template, which doesn't seem to fit either piece. Oh yeah, it, it does. It fits, it fits the pink, but not the Green. Do you know what? I came and measured yesterday and I can't remember why I measured what I did because I must have done it for the lining and I must have made this shorter. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I need to do, I need to make the two side pieces have this missing bit. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to talk because I'll confuse myself. So I'm just going to do it and then, or should I join it together first and then do that? No, I don't think I'll do that. I think, I think I'll just stop talking and concentrate. I know I wanted the sweep up to start happening like 27 inches from the edge. Which, right, okay, I'm just, because I've never done this before and, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, I think I'm just going to just do, just go for it. 
if I think about it too much, <clears throat> then I, I, I can't think about it too much. Okay, here we go. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this line that I've drawn with Taylor's chalk. I don't think you can. I don't think you can see it. But anyway, trust me, it does not look very exact at all. But like I say, where's my scissors? Um, like I say, I'm just going to do it. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing with the curtains and they've turned out really nice. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. But, uh, oh, I know, I can use this piece as my, um, as the template for the other side and the actual curtain. That's a good idea and it'll be the same, will it? Yeah. Okay, so let me do that with this side now. Pin it on. sides. And if it isn't, we'll just have to hope that Freddie doesn't notice. So we've got a very exciting project going on in our house at the moment, um, which is Freddie's old loft bedroom is being transformed into Coco's new bedroom. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Not that there's anything that drastic, it just seems to be taking a long time. I don't know why things not coming that we've ordered and, um, but it's looking really nice. Okay, so we have the right hand piece the left hand piece and the middle piece and I'm just going to sew them together now. Okay, I've joined um, the three pieces. Um, I'm just going to press the seams open and then, just to save time, because I need to do exactly the same with the green, but to save time um, so I don't have to re-thread the machine, I'm going to try and hem this on the machine, which obviously it won't be as neat as if I hand did it, but I'm in a hurry, so I want to do it as quick as I can. So I'll, I'll do it and if it looks terrible then I'll have to rethink, but that's what my plan is. So it's really complicated hemming on the machine. I can't remember how to do it. It's all about. So I'll I'll um, look at the instructions in the manual um, and try and jog my memory. I know there's a different foot I need to put on. Uh, so I'll do that. So I'm going to press it open, work out what to do, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Right. This is really complicated. So it's. I have to set the machine so that it does a bit of straight stitching then it jumps over and it picks one up. Look, can I find it in here? Ah, oh, here it is. Instruction book. Okay, so I've been doing this funny stitch on the machine and it's kind of worked. So it's only working on the straight bits. Where I've tried to curve it, it's, it's not working out. I'm not gonna worry about it. What I've done, I've done the nice straight bits with that stitch on the machine. And that straight bit that needs pressing. And the other bits, the curvy bits, I'm just gonna have to hand 
stitch the hem, but at least it's not all that fabric to do. I'm gonna try and finish this by hand and then shape the green and that's it for today and I'll finish them tomorrow. I've just cut this out and realized I didn't film it. So what I've done, I've lined the green fabric up and I got the piece of pink and I, I placed it like a template and it didn't quite match up. So I've just sort of, I made it match up. I just moved it. I've pressed the pink lining. So I'm just gonna hand, hand hem those bits that were curved just because I, I can't, it's, it's more hassle doing it on the machine. So it'll just be quicker and easier for me to hand sew just those little bits. And then tomorrow when I come back, I shall do the same with this green and then put them together and hope for the best. Right, okay, can you see I've just um, pinned that on. I'm just gonna cut that out. So that should be exactly the same as the other side. So even if it's not, oh, it does have to be the same as the pink because the pink's gonna come below. Um, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Because it's not flat. It's not a flat pelmet. There's gonna be lots of gathers in it. So I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's near enough. It will have to do. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got things that I need to do in Coco's room when she gets back from school. Well, that's that's more or less. Now this side's perfect. How can that be right when I used the exact same piece? But whatever. I'm not going to stress about it. So let's see if that looks. Okay. Hello, it's day two. I'm hoping to finish this today. Um, I did the lining section um, last time I was here. So now I'm going to do exactly the same um, that I did here with the green stripe curtaining. But I'm just going to make it probably two inches yeah, I'm just going to do exactly the same, but I'm just going to make it two inches shorter than the lining so that the lining can show through. Right, so I have, oops, I've joined the seams together and I've pinned the hem. So now I'm just going to machine stitch the hem and then hand sew the curvy bits. Okay, so I have uh, pressed over an inch at the top of the lining, an inch at the top of the, um, the curtaining. I've just realized I didn't have to do that with, with this. Um, well, I did because I needed it to be the right length because hopefully, yes, look, can you see that is going to stick out two inches below the curtain fabric. Um, so I now need to put the rufflet tape along the top, but what I think I'm going to do, just so that it's not so thick, actually where I've pressed the lining this inch, I think I'm going to just cut that off and then I'll enclose the raw edge into the fold of the curtain. So it will look like will look like that um, and then when I've done that I will get the heading tape then sew the heading tape on like that. So now I am placing the lining um, by the way, both, this isn't like making curtains, I've got the right side of both 
the pieces. Sorry, I've got facing the same way because I'm having both showing like this. So it's not like making curtains where you put the right sides together. I've got the right side of the lining against the wrong side of the curtain. Um, and now I'm folding this top edge over it like this. Um, and at the same time, pinning on the heading tape. Okay, so remember when you're sewing on rufflet tape or heading tape, these, um, these bits here are to put the curtain hooks in. So don't sew it on the wrong way, the flat way, like I nearly did just then, because you're going to need to put your curtain hooks in here. Oh, I hope this has inspired someone to make their own curtains. It is a real faff but I always think it's worth it. I think you can really tell if you see handmade curtains. Just found a needle on the floor. She won't be pleased with me. Okay, I've pinned the heading tape in place. I've only done it along the top. Um, and so I'm just going to machine stitch the heading tape here, here and at the sides. And then it will be nearly finished. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm nearly at the end. So I have turned the side seam under. I will hand stitch that but I just wanted to show you me. I've done the um, heading tape, machined it top and bottom. So I've got to the end now. So I just wanted to show you this. I'm tucking it round. I need to chop a bit off, it's a bit too much. And I've taken out the threads because that's what I'm going to pull up in a second. So just need a little bit more of that and I am just tucking that in. So I've got to be careful here when I'm machining because I don't want to get the threads this time. So on the other side that I didn't show you, I reversed over the threads twice to hold them really secure. But obviously on this side, I can't sew over them because, ouch, because I'm gonna pull them up to make the gathers. There you go. So that's the, the tape down securely. Ouch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hand sew these two edges. Okay, I've just finished pressing them. It, so there it is. So can you see, I've shaped it like this. So that's the short bit for in the middle. And then this is the other end. So I need to pull all this up so that it measures 74 inches. Actually, I think it'd be easier if I do this on the floor. I'm just going to switch this off and show you when I've finished. It's just taking, it's going to take ages. Okay, I have gathered it up. It's not quite as neat as I would have liked, but I've gathered it up to 74 inches. <sighs> okay, let's go and hang them up. Oh my god, mommy, that looks so good. Oh, do you like it? Oh my, wow. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Wow. <laughs> well, let's wait and get <gasps> to the end and see no. if, it, if it reaches the end. No, it's incredible. 
Oh my gosh, I love the pink. I know. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, oh god. wow, I can't believe oh god. you've done that, like off the top of your head with not really a <laughs> big pl plan. No plan <laughs> no, at all. No, not really a plan at all, no. <laughs> yeah. Zero That's plan. crazy. Da da <laughs> There you go. Happy? It's honestly incredible. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. It's They're so really, pretty. Really nice. It looks there, so, so nice. Wow. So, Tyvex. Yeah. You don't want my shell ones, do you? No. Oh my gosh, they're even nicer when they're open. There's Granny on the wow. window. Yes. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. No, I like it the I way know, the other one is. I don't know what you like when I've gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they just look. Unbelievable. Wow. Ooh. Oh, well done you. Thank you. There you go. So that's wow. how to do a frilled valance. Yes, I'm pleased with that. Yeah. It's amazing. It looks nice. Thank you. Yay, I can go home now. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Until she calls me again for the next job. Tomorrow. To oh. I need a day off. No, tomorrow. <laughs> so the next job is going to be recovering the dining chairs. Um, and also I was thinking of doing a dress collection video for something completely different. Um, so let me know in the comments if you think that's a good or a bad idea. Okay, I shall see you next time. Bye.